Welcome back folks. As you can see I got a little bit of a jump start on this thing here. I got the back sanded with uh, 15 and 2000 grit. You can see some dark spots here, dark spot here, dark spot here, a couple of dark spots here. That's basically dents in the wood itself. Um, and you can see I'm not going around some of this area over here, trying to stay away from getting water in any of these holes over here. This part here really doesn't need to be sanded at all. Uh, and you got two deep, deep scratches right here that are not going to sand out. If you could take your fingernail and stick it in the cut of the finish, then um, yeah, that's a touch up, not a sand down. Now, this is sanding like it, like it feels like lacquer when I'm sanding this. And a couple of things that you want to watch when you're doing a sanding job is that you don't go through the finish. And how do you know if you go through the finish? Well, as you're sanding, this is a piece of 2000 grit sandpaper. As you're sanding, now I'm going in a circle motion instead of side to side because that's going to give me more of a fog then you know going side to side you're gonna have scratches going side to side I want swirl scratches now as you're sanding it you can see that it's kind of turning like a milky white alright that's the clear coat that's on here if you start seeing black or whatever color your finish is starting to come through mixed with the white then you went through your finish so you want to be very 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 careful you don't do that now, I'm not using much water as I'm doing this, I'm going swirl motion, swirling motion using you know, an eraser as my block. And again, you want to make sure you clean your paper so it doesn't get any buildup on it. Be careful with the edges so you don't go through. And all I'm looking for is a type of a fog dull finish. Now take a clean rag with no debris or anything on it, preferably a uh, microfiber. Just wipe it down. And as it dries, you can kind of see what you've done. You can see how I sanded it. Pretty much have coverage over the whole thing. Some spots like this where I didn't go and break the clear, I'm not worried about. Spots like this I didn't break the clear, I'm not worried about. All I'm worried about is getting rid of all those deep scratches that were in this finish. So now I can take and go over this with some 3000 grit. which is kind of like a foam pad. And again, I'm using a pencil eraser. And kind of just go over in the same areas that I've been going over. Now this one's kind of important. You might want to go and do this like quite a few times before you're actually finished because this is going to be your finishing sanding before buff. And this is going to take out all the scratches from the 2000 grit. I'm going to have to go over this a few times. I already know that. With the 3000 grit. Get this down. Now, 3000 grit should give you a little bit more of a sheen to it. To where some of the gloss is starting to come out. And again, I have to go over this a couple of times. So if you get this in the right angle of the light, you'll have somewhat of a reflection now with the 3000. So I have to go over this a couple more times with the 3000 and uh, remove, see I want it to look like this here, not this here. 
This here, you can still see some of the scratches from the 2000. This here, scratches from the 2000 are gone. This part right here, see, watch this. If I use the first stage of rubbing compound right now, just a little bit, not much, I start rubbing it into this part right here. This is just a test, this is not the final. This is just a test to see how the gloss came out. Now if I do it again, see I'm doing it this way because I can use the exercise. I'm doing it in an area where I did not see in this part here. Let's see if I can get the two to blend in. And as you can see, with just that first coat of rubbing compound this side here and that side there is pretty good so if I go with the second stage and go with my final it'll remove the scratches from this rubbing compound give me that much more of a shine so welcome back and as you can see I am Doing a little sanding here still. I've got the 3000 grit sandpaper and uh, just going over this thing. Went over this thing about four times already. Knocked out some of the dents that were in the clear coat, so I'm kind of thinking maybe that was something that was in the clear, not something that was uh, physical damage. Couple spots that I couldn't fix. Not really too worried about it. Three thousand grit sandpaper is working just the way it's supposed to work. And again, when you're doing something like this, you want to be careful. You do not go through the clear or the finish. All right, so I've already drilled out these holes a little bit bigger to accept the new pharaohs, string pharaohs this thing down now what I'm really looking for is somewhat of a sheen of a finish to where there is somewhat of a reflection and right now, I'm getting that, if you could kind of see, I'm getting that right now. So right now as it sits, I can start to hand polish it. It's pretty much done. There is a little bit of a spot right here that I can't do anything about. If I sand, try to sand that out, it's probably going to go right through the clear coat. And then I knock down these scratches right here, these two deep ones but uh, they're still there. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to fill them in a little bit along with these two right here. All right, folks, I'm going to attempt to fix this chip right here. Let me see if I can readjust this camera. There you go. Maybe it's a little bit better. So what I've got here is because I'm not too sure if this is lacquer or not, I have some acrylic mixed up here and automotive acrylic paint, uh, clear coat. I'm using a toothpick and what I want to do is put a bead of acrylic on this toothpick at the bottom and what I want to do is I want to take that bead and drop it right in here. and start filling this up a little bit at a time. Now, I don't want to use a lot of it. I just want to fill it a little bit. And what I want this to do is to get as close to the edges of where the chip is and get this to go underneath Get this to go underneath a little bit as far as filling this. Now if it's a little bit higher, if it's bubbled a little bit, that's fine because I'm going to sand this down. And what this is going to do, sorry if I got the camera out of the way, and what this is going to do is it's going to fill this and go under the chip. a little bit under the chip where it is broken from the finish or from the body get this real close to the edges see I got that filled up pretty good and I got the other chip right there All right, so the acrylic was a bust, and uh, there was some wood showing through there a little bit, and I didn't notice it before I put the acrylic on. Luckily, the acrylic did not cure up all that much, and I was able to basically peel it off and uh, just do a little bit of sanding on here with some 2000 grit sandpaper. Didn't want to go through the finish too much or too quick with uh, 800. So what I've got going on right now, right now is I've been filling it up. I found a can of lacquer that I picked up from Stumac a while back, and there was still some in it. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying it into a small cup and just dabbing it on with a real thin brush. And it's filling it up. So I've got a lot of it filled up right now. You can kind of see that this still needs more also this one here to fill up that chip and it seems like as the more i sand it and blend it in it seems to be getting smaller and smaller so that's kind of the idea of how i wanted to do this a little bit at a time instead of just putting a big glob on there luckily the lacquer dries pretty quick for the small amount that i'm putting on here so i'm able to work on it a little bit faster so right now i gotta put a little bit more dabs on there and try to hold the camera and do this at the same time so hold on all right, so I got a little bit of lacquer in this cup right here, and I'm going to add it to my brush, and I'm going to dab it on here just a little bit, not a lot. I'm going to fill this thing up because now it's getting smaller and smaller. And I don't need to put as much. Now I tested out because I wasn't sure if this body was sprayed in lacquer or not. So I wanted to test out. So I took a little spot that was in the control panel and tested it there to see if uh, it was going to start bubbling up. Because, you know, lacquer will act as a um, paint remover 
if it is on anything other than itself. So if you put lacquer on top of enamel, it'll act like a paint remover. So I just want that to dry. Just want that to dry. And then I'll fill it up again if necessary. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. Let's see if we get a better angle of it. The bad thing it's in a curve, so it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the ass. You can see I got a little bit of a buildup on that, which that is fine because I can sand that down. Trying to keep it from overflowing the edge over here. It's working out pretty good. So, all right. That's just a little video there. Take care.